The button-up shirt is one of the most important staples in a man's wardrobe. But just like with any other piece of clothing, if your shirts don't fit properly, they're not gonna do you any favors. You know, you wanna make sure your clothes are working for you and not against you. And to that end, this video is gonna teach you exactly how your button-up shirts should fit. Speaking of perfect fit, huge thank you to Policy Genius for sponsoring this video. Policy Genius is an online insurance marketplace that puts all the best home and auto insurance companies in one place for you to compare. And they also offer tools for life insurance. Once you find the right policy, their team of experts will actually do all of the work to get you switched over. I feel like if somebody did this for clothing, we'd all be much better dressed. Policy Genius has saved their home and auto insurance customers an average of $1,000 per year. Now, I understand the value of a good insurance policy. I have a rental property, I own a car, and there have been a couple times in the past few years where my insurance policy has saved me a ton of time and stress. At the same time, insurance can be expensive and shopping for insurance isn't very fun. I think most people would rather spend their time doing other things like, I don't know, getting a root canal. So I like the idea of Policy Genius and I wanted to see how long it actually took. I went over to policygenius.com slash modest man and I answered a few questions about myself and my property and it only took a few minutes. After you do this, Policy Genius compares your existing policies against other ones to make sure that you're getting the right coverage and the best price. If they do find a better rate, they will get you switched over for free. And if you own a car too, they will mix and match home and auto policies to make sure that you're getting the right price. And this is smart because I know from experience that sometimes if you bundle different types of insurance, you can get a discount. And that's officially the most adult thing I've ever said. You can visit policygenius.com slash modest man to start saving today. One more time, that's policygenius.com slash modest man. Okay, before before we talk about shirt fit, we have to get clear on two things. First, button down versus button up. So any shirt that fastens down the middle with buttons is called a button up shirt. The term button down refers to collars that button down onto the shirt. So for example, this is a button up shirt with a button down collar. These days, the term button down is often just used to describe button up shirts. For the sake of accuracy, I use the term button up shirt and I use the term button down when I'm talking about the collar. If you're still confused, just remember that some button up shirts have button down collars. Okay, second point of clarification, dress shirts versus casual button ups. Button up shirts come in many different levels of formality, but most of them fall into one of two categories, casual or dress. The main difference between these two is the length of the shirt. So dress shirts are usually longer because they're meant to be worn tucked in. Casual button ups, on the other hand, are shorter in length and usually have a slightly less curved hem because they're meant to be worn untucked. A lot of shirts these days have sort of a hybrid length so you can wear them tucked in or untucked, but for me, if I look at my closet, I have two different types of button ups. You know, I have my dress shirts that I'm gonna wear tucked in, and then I have my casual button ups that I'm gonna wear untucked. Of course, there are other differences. Dress shirts might have, you know, hidden plackets or a clean chest without a pocket. They might have French cuffs, but the main difference is the length. The biggest mistake that guys make with button up shirts is wearing dress shirts untucked. You know, just because you've untucked your shirt, it doesn't make it casual. You're just wearing a formal shirt casually and it looks kind of off. But other than the length, button up shirts should pretty much all fit the same way. So let's talk about fit. As always, I recommend a fitted but not tight look. I don't think your shirts should be painted on, but I also don't think they should be baggy. And if you go with this sort of middle of the road fit, you can be sure that your shirts are gonna look just as good in five or 10 years as they do today. Let's start at the top with the collar. So you should be able to button the top button of your shirt without any discomfort. If you button that top button and you can feel your jugular beating against your collar, it's probably too tight. You know, you should be able to get uh, one or two fingers in between your collar and your neck and uh, basically you just shouldn't feel uncomfortable with your shirt buttoned all the way up. And this is really important with your dress shirts because you'll probably wear a tie with those sometimes, and when you wear a tie, you button that top button. Now on the other hand, if there's a visible gap between your shirt collar and your neck, your shirt might be a little bit too big. This is a common problem for guys like myself with slim necks, but when in doubt, it's better to have a collar that's slightly too loose than one that's too tight, because if it's too loose, you can get it fixed at the tailor. Moving on to the shoulders. Now, shoulders cannot be fixed at the tailor, so you wanna get the right fit 
out of the box. So all button up shirts basically have the same construction. The sleeves are attached to the body, creating these armholes and shoulder seams. These two shoulder seams should sit right on top of your actual shoulders. Now, if you feel your shoulder, you'll notice that there's this bone right at the end that kind of protrudes. This is called the acromion and it marks the end of your shoulder. If your shirt fits properly, the shoulder seam will sit right on top of that bone. Now, it's okay if the seam goes a little bit past that bone. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to avoid shirts that are so big that the seam is kind of sitting down on your tricep, that means the shirt is probably too big all around for your build. Now, if the shirt is too small, when you kind of swing your arms in front of you, you'll probably feel some discomfort and some pulling across the top of your back. That means that the shirt might be a little too narrow in the shoulders. So when you're trying a shirt on, swing your arms a little bit in front of your body, and again, a little bit of pulling is fine, but if it pulls a lot, it might be a little too tight in the shoulders. Okay, moving on to the chest. Now, I'd love to give you an exact measurement like you should only be able to pull two inches of excess fabric on either side of your chest. But the fact is, shirt fit is pretty subjective and it's gonna depend on whether or not you want like a really slim fit shirt or more of a traditional fit. Slim fit shirts, like most of my shirts, sit pretty close to your body. So there's not a lot of excess fabric on either side of your chest. So like if I pinch my shirts, I can get about one inch on either side. If you want a more traditional fit, you could probably get two to three inches of excess fabric on either side of your shirt. And honestly, that is just fine and it's probably more comfortable. What you want to avoid is shirts that are so slim or so tight fitting that it's actually pulling across your chest. So if this second and third button, if they're being kind of pulled away from your chest, creating a space in between your pecs, the shirt's probably too tight. This is a common problem for guys who have a very athletic build. And the solution is to buy a shirt that fits in the chest or even that's a little too loose in the chest and have it tailored. Of course, a lot of guys are gonna have the exact opposite problem. Shirts will be a little bit too baggy in the chest and that's just fine. That's easy to fix at the tailor. Moving down to the stomach. Now, most guys are gonna have a bit of a drop from their chest to their stomach. So you might have a 38 inch chest and a 32 inch waist. That's a six inch drop and that means that your shirt is gonna need a little bit of taper through the torso to have that nice V-shaped fit. Other guys are gonna need a little more room in the midsection and any sort of taper is gonna create a shirt that's too tight. I recommend following the same guidelines as I talked about with the chest fit. If you can pinch more than two inches of excess fabric on either side of your stomach, your shirt might be a little too loose. On the other hand, if it's pulling uh, across your belly or if you notice any like gaps in the placket, it's probably too tight. Of course, you always wanna just look in the mirror and use your best judgment. Okay, let's talk about your shirt sleeves. Now you wanna pay attention to two things, the length and the width. Let's talk first about width. Again, I like to go for a slim but not skinny fit. If your sleeves are too slim, it's gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna actually restrict your movement but if they're too baggy, it's not gonna enhance your physique. You know, it's gonna make you look like a kid wearing hand-me-downs. I think that a lot of shirts these days are cut pretty large, so I do recommend buying slim fit shirts, even if you're not necessarily a slim guy. I think they tend to fit a little better in the arms. But if you do have large biceps and forearms, slim fit shirt might be a little too tight. So you might wanna go with a traditional fit. Again, if you look at my shirt sleeves, you'll notice my shirts don't look like they're painted onto my arms. Like there's plenty of room to move and to feel comfortable, but they're also not baggy. For sleeve length, you wanna make sure that the end of your sleeve cuff hits right around your wrist bone. It's okay if it goes a little bit past this bone and kind of sits right on top of your wrist. It's okay if it stops a little bit short of this bone. It's not an exact science, but what you want to avoid is sleeves that are too long. You know, unless you're very tall or have very long arms, you're probably not gonna run into sleeves that are too short, but I see a lot of guys wearing shirts with sleeves that are too long. So when in doubt, try to get sleeves that hit right around that wrist bone. Now, if you put on a jacket, you want your shirt sleeves to poke out underneath your jacket sleeves by about an eighth inch to a quarter inch. So that's another good way to kind of test the uh, length of your sleeves. Finally, let's talk about the overall length of the shirt. So like I mentioned before, dress shirts are longer than casual button up shirts. It doesn't really matter if a dress shirt is too long because you're gonna wear it tucked in, but just for a visual guideline, when a dress shirt is untucked, the longest part of the tail in the back is gonna hit somewhere around 
mid butt to the bottom of your butt. And the front of your shirt will stop somewhere around the top of your thighs. It's better for a dress shirt to be a little bit too long than a little bit too short, because if it's too short, it's gonna come untucked throughout the day, especially when you raise your arms up. If it's too long, it's not that big of a deal. Like, yeah, you'll have a little bit of excess fabric down there, but I'd rather have a clean tuck that stays in place all day. Now, casual button-up shirts should be shorter. The front should hit somewhere around mid-thigh. It shouldn't go past the bottom of your fly. And in the back, it should stop somewhere around mid-butt. Some shirts might be the right length for you to wear tucked in or untucked, but for me, I have my casual shirts and then my longer dress shirts. So we know how a button-up shirt should fit. Let's talk about some of the most common fit problems and how to fix them. The most common mistake I see with guys wearing button-up shirts, whether they're casual or dressy, is just wearing shirts that are too big. I think most guys would do well just to size down, or if you're wearing a traditional or classic fit, try slim fit. This is gonna fix a lot of problems, including sleeve length and sleeve width, collar width, too much room in the chest and torso, and overall length of the shirt. Another common problem is sleeves that are just too long. Now, this is mostly a problem for guys who are below average height, but it can be a problem for bigger guys who just happen to have shorter arms for their build. To fix this problem, you can take your shirts to the tailor. This is a pretty simple and affordable alteration. While you're there, you can have your shirt taken in if it's too baggy. You know, they can just slim it up for you. Again, very cheap and pretty much any tailor can handle this. If you don't wanna get your shirt tailored, and your sleeves are too long, you can just roll your sleeves up. I made a whole video about how to roll your sleeves up the right way, and I'll link to that down below. If your shirt's too big or your sleeves are too long, you can also wear a sweater. So basically, only use your shirt as a bottom layer. This is a little bit risky because if you get too hot and you got to take that top layer off, then your shirt's not going to fit, but it'll do in a pinch. If you have a lot of trouble finding shirts that fit off the rack, you can always buy custom made shirts. Pretty much all of my dress shirts are made to measure. A lot of great companies out there now. Indochino, Proper Cloth, Oliver Wicks, a ton of others. I've done a lot of reviews over on themodestman.com that you can check out, but uh, it's easier and more affordable than it's ever been to get a custom made shirt. There are also lots of specialty brands like Ashenery and Peter Manning, Under 510, American Tall, brands that are focusing on you know longer and shorter lengths. You can also try brands that have different lengths even in their standard sizes like Asket and Bonobos. Now, if you have a shirt that you wanna wear untucked but it's too long, you can have it shortened at the tailor. Just keep in mind, this can throw off the proportions of the shirt if you chop off more than like one or two inch because sometimes it'll make it so that bottom button is a little too close to the hem. For that reason, I recommend buying uh, button-up shirts as either a dress shirt or casual. And if you're buying a casual shirt, try to make sure that it's a shorter length shirt that's actually designed to be worn untucked. A lot of mainstream brands like J. Crew and Bonobos are making shirts like this now. And that's it. I hope this guide helps you understand exactly how your button-up shirts should fit. And this is a good time to kind of go through your closet and audit your shirt collection and see if your shirts fit properly. If they don't, take them to the tailor, or just donate them and replace them with better options. If you have any questions for me about shirt fit or anything else, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you as always for watching, and until next time, stay stylish.